All right, this time we are going to create a situation where we're using all of our sensors at the same time. So all four, the potentiometer, the line tracker, limit switch, and bump switch. So let's create a new file. Save as. point seventeen dot seventeen all sensors so you can write that save let's double check to make sure that this is all okay good natural language PLTW physical robot USB only Let's go to motor and sensor setup. So we have four we have four sensors and a motor. So let's start off with our motor. Let's put it in port one called motor one. And it is a VEX393. Analog sensor we have we have a light sensor. And we have a P meter or full name potentiometer. And then digital, we have a bump switch. Bump switch. And a Limit switch. Also touch. Apply. Okay. We should see. Okay, we got our names here. These are both in analog one and two. Light sensor P meter, sensor reflection, sensor potentiometer, Bump switch, limit switch, both with capital S's in digital one and two, and have motor one. Make sure that these all say something. They shouldn't say no sensor. If that's true, you need to go back, and it means you didn't change that. Okay, your stuff won't work if you uh, if that's uh, true. All right, we are going to start writing some code. Let's start off with a loop. Loop needs its own curly braces. If statement sensor value bump which which is not showing up right because what did I not do I did not hit that and I have some errors totally fine bump switch now it's red uh, equal equal to one equal equal to one you need its own curly braces And let's start motor. Motor one at I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna do a lower value just because it's super loud probably in the videos my guess when it runs at a higher speed so I'm gonna do 45 and. 
and we want it to we want it to react to the line tracker, so until light. Until light five hundo line. Uh, we, we did not call it a line tracker, we called it a light sensor. My bad. Semicolon. And then a stop motor. Which motor? Motor one. Duh. Uh, if the bump switch is hit, do the following code. So if the bump switch is hit, do the following code. Got it. What's the following code? Well, what's this? Motor starts at speed. 45, and I think that's clockwise. I'm just making a guess there. I think positive means clockwise, negative means counterclockwise. And that can de that really depends on how your motor is actually positioned on the table as well. So just get used to adding that. And then um, motor starts at speed 45 clockwise. And it is, it's until light sensor and this is I'm gonna write something generic until light sensor senses something dark like clothing so you guys saw me when I put that on my shirt it should react at that level here um, and then the motor should stop when that happens the motor stops so if you need to see this, just hit pause right here so that you can see what I wrote and then you can write it on yours. And then here, here's what we want to do, which is tricky. Um, so this is an if statement with its own little curly braces right here. So I'm going to put my cursor right here because I want this next if statement to still be inside the loop. So I hit enter after that curly brace. And I'm going to write another if statement. So if sensor value limit switch is hit. So this time if the limit switch is hit, if the limit switch is hit, do do, do the following code. And let's give this if statement its own little curly braces and create a little gap. And this if statement, so the limit switch is going to be interacting with the potentiometer. And <clears throat> let's say when we hit the limit switch, it starts the motor. Start motor. Motor one. At, I want it to look different, so maybe negative 60 semicolon. So, motor starts going clockwise, counter at speed 60. So motor starts going counterclockwise at speed 60. If you obviously if you're not typing as quick as I can, just hit pause and you can kind of see what I wrote there. I'm gonna hit enter. And we want it to do that until potentiometer less than. And you can play around with that. Always. So you have potentiometer less than and greater than. I'm gonna do less than um, 100 degrees. And that's the P meter. So the 
The motor keeps going until the P meter is twisted less than 100 degrees. Uh, so the motor keeps going until the P meter is twisted less than 100 degrees. Enter. Stop. Motor. E. Motor one. Motor should stop now. Hit compile. Ooh, what did I do here? This will be interesting. Missing semicolon. Wow. All right. <clears throat> so I'm glad that an error showed up, though, because um, right, even I complacent with some of that stuff. But I just look at my error log down here, and it immediately told me what I was missing. Is super easy to fix. So we got that. Um, a decent amount of code here, right? We have a loop and uh, two if statements. Uh, I'm going to hit compile one more time just to double check that and um, just to make sure I'm going to hit save too, even though it saves when you hit compile. And then uh, this one I am going to switch to my phone to show you a video of this actually going and how it's plugged in. Okay? So I'm going to stop the video right here.